hello friends hope all are you good so today i am uh, going to start a new series and this time we will use uh, the sim a 7670 g it's a 4g module uh, comes with built-in uh, uh, micro sim and uh, this module uh, is the latest version of sim uh, simcom company and we will um, experiment this module with esp32 and we will going through some experiment like uh, uh, the call or the sms and uh, how to connect with the mqtt or http and uh, we will try to connect with the uh, firebase and we will also try the gps inbuilt gps because this module comes with inbuilt gps module uh, so uh, we will try all one by one uh, so today I just uh, want to show you how you, you will connect the uh, this A7670 SIM module with ESP32 and the pin connection of these two module I will sh uh, give in the screen so you can understand well. So uh, this module comes with uh, some of pins so uh, not all the pins are necessary we need just TX, RX, RST that means reset power enable and power key of course and this is ground pin there are two ground pin there and here is to be in pin okay so according to data sheet this module can tolerate from 5 volt to 16 volt okay so uh, there is also comes a, a micro usb uh, port here so we can power up this module with this okay so i will uh, give power with this okay so uh, let's try um, today experiment we just uh, today we'll just print uh, the network status and the network strength and uh, first we talk uh, uh, how this module responds with this uh, esp32 so let's begin okay so so according to the pin diagram please uh, make your circuit so we can test with my code okay so let's begin let me connect this is all uh, of course check uh, the sim card i have the data plan of course okay so let me power up the sim module and the gsm module and the esp32 okay let me show you something okay the, uh, that's blue led that means the module is started on and this uh, green led blinking so that means this module connected with the network successfully okay we will um, uh, try to get more from the code so let's code Okay, we just uh, open the code in the Arduino IDE and we need a library called TinyJSM client and this library link I will give in the description of the video description. Please download the specific library from the download link I give because if you download from uh, uh, library manager, this library will not work with this module. Okay, so please download uh, the link I give you and this code uh, link, the code GitHub link I will give also in the description so please download the code and uh, i don't go through the code line by line because you all know about the code and uh, so uh, i just upload the code and this time i will just show you the signal quality and uh, network register and the operator okay and in the setup i here check some function uh, like uh, serialty begin and it will uh, uh, print some uh, modem info and if the network is connected that means the same module is connected with the network it will success and it will uh, print the network connected and there is a function of gpr is connected so this function is not need now but i just give there so in the loop it will continuously print in three second interval let's uh, upload the code okay so open 
this uh, okay i open the serial monitor and you can see in the video uh, the modem started and you can see this is success network connected gpr is connected and signal quality is uh, 30 so good signal and network interface is connected so our modem our sim a7670 gsm modem is successfully connected with the internet sorry in the network and it's talking with the esp32 okay and uh, this time uh, uh, today's okay so next uh, video we will show you some more example of sim uh, this module and uh, you can uh, face some problem about the power system the powering the board so if you give the same power so if uh, you uh, try with the with the uh, pin out from here so you need a stable 5 volt 2 ampere external power supply okay do not give power from esp32 okay give external power supply and of course it uh, 2.5 ampere can maximum power output and um, this module can tolerate according to data sheet uh, from 5 to 16 volt okay so thank you today thank you for so if you uh, love this video so please subscribe my channel thank you